Hello, I am Brian Fredericks, a proud orchestra teacher from Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I'll present to you Music Instruction and Academic Achievement using three research articles. The first was written in a science journal in 2016, and the other two are from Journal of Educational Psychology in 2014 and 2019. I've been very interested in the benefits of music because I'm a middle school music teacher. And my classroom is always has its walls covered in this kind of information so that my students aren't just taught music, I teach them additional academic benefits of music too. So a quick review of my last video, I discussed an article titled, A Little Goes a Long Way, How the Adult Brain is Shaped by Musical Training in Childhood by Scoey and Cross in 2012. The purpose was to test whether adults who received formal music training as children have more robust, robust brainstem responses to sound than peers who never participated in music lessons. Long story short, there was a significant difference in ABR response and cognitive function in the adults with childhood music training than the other adults. And some of them were as old as 31. So interesting. The first article in this video is by Dos Santos Luis, Monaco, Almedia, Coimbria, and, and was written in 2016. It's called Exploring the Long-Term Associations Between Adolescents' Music Training and Academic Achievement. The purpose of the article was to add new insight regarding the effects of socioeconomic status, intelligence, and motivation on the relationship between music training and academic achievement among Portuguese students receiving basic education. Music lessons were positively correlated with school performance, even after controlling for family income, parent education, and child's intelligence. Motivation is a strong predictor of academic performance, and it becomes the primary factor of academic performance as the child transitions to adolescence. That was also discussed a lot in the article, was their mo mo motivations. So that's a whole other factor in this. After controlling for the effects of socioeconomic status, they observed a positive association between participation in music and the child's and adolescent's performance on standardized reading and mathematics tests. So, the method was quantitative, no experimental analysis. It included 207 third cycle students in Portuguese basic education. That's what they call it over there. The students were recruited from 12 schools in similar parts of Portugal. 110 of the students were in the seventh grade, and 62 of them had studied music continually for six or more years. The other 48 were non-music students. The data the researchers analyzed was collected as the students graduated from seventh to ninth grade. This data consisted of an average score of the grades from the six subjects in Portuguese basic education, which is Portuguese language, English, mathematics, natural science, history, and geography. The findings in the article were that positive associations exist between music training and academic achievement, even after controlling for socioeconomic status, motivation, and intelligence. Because intelligence test scores increase with schooling, music lessons could increase intelligence because those lessons are similar to other school activities. Music students are motivated to study in general, and their motivations positively influence their academic performance. The next article was by Nimi and Cordes and Winner in 2014. It was called, Arts Involvement Predicts Academic Achievement Only When the Child Has a Musical Instrument. So, the purpose was to examine the academic achievement of students in the United States in association with their involvement in the arts. Learning to play a musical instrument is correlated with improved academic perform achievement. And that's by Schellenberg, 2006. Um, Schellenberg did a range of studies, a, a professor who did a range of studies for like 20 years um, with, with discussing correlations between academic achievement and musical involvement. Very, very interesting stuff to read. Uh, he was cited a lot in the um, articles that I've been reading. Alert, uh, uh, the other finding was learning to play a musical instrument is the only art activity that has been causally linked to increases in child's IQ scores and academic performance. That's also from Schellenberg, 2004. 
Art's involvement in and out of school is positively correlated with academic test scores in the early teen years, as well as with college outcomes, associations that were evident in both the highest and lowest quartiles of socioeconomic status. The method was quantitative predictive correlation and included a sample of 2,339 11 to 12 year old American students. Of those students, 1,157 were males, 1,182 were females. Um, they examined students who descended from the females in the original National Longitudinal Survey of Youth, 1979, and they compared academic achievement um, were after school arts, after school sports, cognitive stimulation at home, and access to musical instrument, poverty level, that's what they called it on the survey back in 1979, mother's education level, and mother's aspiration for her child's highest educational level. So the findings were, owning a musical instrument, as well as musical instrument and arts after school interaction, remains a significant positive predictors of academic achievement. The scatter plot of the data displays a clear positive correlation between access to arts and a musical instrument after school and academic achievement. After school arts are associated positively with academic achievement only when the child has been provided with a musical instrument. And they go into that in the discussion and the ramifications of that, of that knowledge. So it turns out that having musical instrument is what really makes the difference in the academics as opposed to just um, singing. Very interesting. The final article I'll be, I'll be talking about is Goon, Emerson, and Gazawius from 2019. The article is called A Population Level Analysis of Associations Between School Music Participation and Academic Achievement. So the purpose was to expand the existing empirical literature, in their words, on the associations between high school students' music education and achievement in English, math, and science by drawing from a multi-year representative population level data linkage. <laughs> so they decided to go all out with it. So music training in childhood and or early adolescence have been found to be related to lasting changes to neurological regions including the corpus callosum, superior temporal gyrus, and middle temporal gyrus, which was something that was discussed in my last video. Students who learn that repeated music practice can lead to the mastery of complex skills and achieving desired outcomes such as high grades may internalize a sense of self-efficacy, which may then be applied to non-music areas. Music education has been shown to positively relate to re a broad range of measures of academic related cognitive, visual, and auditory competencies. The method of this study was um, quantitative analysis, and they analyzed records from the Provincial Ministry of Education in British Columbia, Canada, including socioeconomic status, gender, language background, and academic grades. They used the records of, get this, 112,000 916 students in all school districts of British Columbia. After indicating whether or not each student took at least one school music course in grades 10, 11, or 12, viewing the records demonstrated a correlation between school music participation and significantly higher mean grades. This correlation remained present after Dune et al. controlled for several other influences, such as prior academic achievement and socio-demographic backgrounds. So, the findings were, students who took at least one school music course in grades 10, 11, and 12 earned higher academic outcomes relative to those who did not take one. After adjustment for various potential confounders, such as early academic achievement, demographics, and socioeconomic advantage, the greater achievement in math, science, and English grades remained. Exam grades of students with a high, very high instrumental music engagement substantially surpassed those of students without any school music engagement. And here's my end slate. Thank you again for watching this video. It's been very fun looking up the, uh, uh, the uh, academic advantage of students who take school music classes as opposed to students who don't 
as a music teacher. I feel like that's something that should be out there on the internet. So I'm happy to bring that information to you. Um, thanks again. My name is Brian Fredericks. Have a wonderful day.